Welcome to Lecture Online, and now we're going to look at the next two types of calculations for probabilities. Here we're looking at number six. Here we have what we call independent events because now we're not going to replace the card. We're going to be pulling cards out of the deck, not replacing it, see what happens. So we have three events. A is all the hearts, B is all the diamonds, C is the two of hearts, two of diamonds, two of spades, and two of clubs. I don't think we need event C in this case because here we have the probability of getting A and then B by not replacing the card. So that means, what is the probability of A? So we take the probability of A, which is hearts, there's 13 hearts, and there's 52 cards. So that would be the probability of getting A, or of A occurring, we should say. Now, we're going to not put the card back, and now we're going to pull another card, so what's the probability of B occurring? Well, if we pull the heart, then there's still 13 diamonds in there. So the probability of diamonds is the number of diamonds that are there divided by the total number of cards, which is now one less. So therefore, the probability of pulling a diamond next would be 13 divided by, now there's only 51 cards. All right, so how do we simplify that? Well, 13 goes into 52, four times, this is four. So this becomes 13 divided by, looks like, 204. Yep, that is correct, and I don't think, yeah, I don't think we can simplify that any further, and so this would be the probability of A occurring and then B occurring in two consecutive events when we're not replacing the card so that the events are dependent. The next type of probability calculation is where you say at least one. You're going to do a number of things, and you want to see if out of all those things that you do, you get at least one of them to be a particular event. So let's say that the event A is a number three when you toss a die. Well, you want to know what the probability is of at least getting one three, could be more, but at least one, if you toss the die four times. All right, the answer is it's one minus the probability of not getting an A to the nth power, where n represents the number of tosses. So in this case, that would be equal to one minus the probability of not getting an A. Well, the sample space is one through six, one, two, three, four, five, six. A is three, so not an A would be everything but three. That would be the five other outcomes. So the probability of getting not A is five out of six. And now we have to raise that or to the fourth power because we're going to try four times. So the outcome, so the result, the probability is one minus 5 to the 4th power would be 625 divided by 6 to the 4th power. That would be 36 times 36. That would be, let's see here, hmm, 36 times 30. That would be 900. That would be 1,080. 6 times 3, that would be another 180. You know what? I'm going to grab a calculator. My brain is getting pretty tired. So 36 uh, times 36 equals 1,296. There we go. And of course, we can get a probability number out of that. So if we take 625 divided by 1296, and we subtract that from 1, we get a probability of 0 0.518 to three decimal places. So the probability of getting at least one 3 when you toss a die three times is slightly better than 50%. And that's how we do that.